Hallo, hallo, Sherry Gigit, mein Name ist der Gott, ich hau a draußen bin. Schumai, 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 Schumai. Na, what are you doing? Hello, I'm closing. Oh, just stand normal. Okay, yeah, but not like you're dead inside. <laughs> we'll do one more. But like, why are you posing? Just like stand, stand normal. Okay, but smile. But not like a maniac, you know, like look normal. Like you're enjoying yourself. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't. It is St. David's Day. These go that we have us. It is also the first day of Dowithon. If you don't know what Dowithon is, you're behind. Just kidding. I'll link a video below that I did last week that says sort of what it is and has my TBR and everything. But to sum up, for the whole of March, we're going to read Welsh literature. So books by Welsh authors with Welsh settings and subjects, etc. Um, and it all kicks off because today, St. David's Day, is the National Day of Wales. Kicking off my Dowie-thon by reading Drift by Carol Lewis. This one's about um, a girl, like very sort of secluded, isolated girl um, in a rural part of Wales. And she meets this Syrian prisoner. He was being held at this sort of military facility down the road from her. Um, and when he was being transported, there was a storm and a mudslide or whatever. And he was launched into the sea and she's rescued him from the sea. Um, and now she's hiding him in her house. I, uh, spoiler alert, I started yesterday. So I'm already halfway through. Uh, we'll see how this goes. I'm really enjoying it so far. But I'm going to read that for the rest of the day. I'll probably finish it today. Um, but also... I'm gonna have a very Welsh day. It's raining a bit with sort of interspread bright sun. Um, very springy in Welsh. So there's a parade in town, which I very much expect to be rained on in a proper Welsh way. Um, so we'll go and we'll see that. Also, if I can make my husband come, he's a bit down because last year we messed up the timing. Like because in one place it said the parade started at this time and the other time it was like a different time and another website and blah, 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 which also was very Welsh. Um, so he's a bit down about that and may not come this time, but I'm going to try to get him out. If I can get him out, I'll also take him to the market. We'll get some, uh, butter breath, some Welsh cakes, um, also maybe some pierogies, which aren't very Welsh, but I think they're cooked by Welsh people. So I'm like, okay. also it's in the, in the market, in Cardiff Market. Like what's more Welsh than Cardiff Market? So we'll do that. Also, I think I'll hit the library. And by now, they should have their Wales section. They always have like a little thing set up with like Welsh authors and everything um, for March. Uh, it's not for Dowithon, but I like to think it's for us, for Dowithon. Um, and sort of do a wandering to the library. Um, and then end my Welsh day, potentially if it's sunny, by skateboarding with my kids. Um, also not particularly Welsh, but we're going to do it anyway. Right. Onwards. Melin is oven hide, Melin is oven hard, Melin is a doing a gore and a blood, Melin is the bab and panel of oil beat, on the dew and betrave for nivel and a pioni git, Laddy he hi ho, Laddy he hi ho, Ya falviral, Laddy he hi ho. Chwarel yr oedd yn haid, chwarel yr oedd yn haid, chwarel yr y dwi'n y gore yn y wlad. Chwarel yr fydd y bab yn pandel o fwy'r byd, ond y diw yn beth rhyfedd o ni chwarel yr i gyd. Okay, I think, I think I'm a fan of this book so far, I don't know. Like, uh, it's a bit of a slow burn? Or just what some people would call slow, I think. Um, so maybe not for everyone. But I think the characters are quite good. Like, some of them are a bit 2D. Like, they've got some soldiers, like some prison guards, who are a bit, um, like, not developed very well. They're like a sort of, like, stereotypical, awful, horrible, sort of cruel prison guard type person. Um, but I think the other characters, you've got Nevin, who's your main girl, um, she has some sort of, I think, disability or, um, 
I don't know, mental illness type of thing going on or something at least that her brother is afraid of. You know, she seems to be, you know, capable of living her own life in a, you know, a stable sort of way. Um, but he's maybe seen things in her which frighten him. I don't know, like a sort of wildness or whatever. I don't know. Um, so he keeps her sort of drugged up, which is weird. Um, and she's never left like her cove area. Like she lives um, on the coast, um, just in a little cove thing in like a sort of ancient family house. Um, and she's never left there. And he sort of goes off to go fishing and stuff. And her mother ran off and her dad is dead. So he's like her main provider. And he sort of like hires a woman to come up and bring her food. Um, but because that woman has um a husband with dementia to look after she can never really stay very long she has to sort of like pop by quickly and drop food and leave so this nevin girl like never really talks to anyone never really sees anyone and there's a bit of mystery there which i'm intrigued by uh but the syrian guy you also don't know why it was that he was um like detained in this military prison you know um he's treated really shit by the guards so the guards obviously think he's there for like some sort of terrorism reason or something awful but um you don't know that for certain there's a lot of like oh you know why he's here and blah blah, blah. like it's another mystery to sort of solve um and he's now fallen into the sea and been rescued by this girl and he's living in her house and he's sort of talking about home and stuff um and i think even if the characters are a bit 2d and it's a bit of a slow burn like the language this one with the carol lewis i quite like her i think i like her writing style she writes really well um so it's so a quite poetic how he talks about home even if that's also maybe a bit cliche i don't know it's full of cliches but i'm still liking it i'm still enjoying it um and the brother he's come home now and he's seen the syrian guy there um and he's blown up he's like get him out blah blah but like nevin has now expressed like she's normally very like mousy and sort of like does what he says like oh you're taking these drugs and she's like mm, okay um but she's sort of stood up to him a bit here and she's like no get out he's staying i'm looking after them he's ill you know like that so i'm sort of liking it it's going really quick as well like i'm quite far of, like through it already um i don't know we'll have to see we'll see i don't know how i feel i think i like it to the library it's impossible to talk to yourself in the library i found without sounding insane because it's so quiet so we're just gonna do a voice over here i like voiceover hope that's okay they do have our whale section um, but a lot of the books here I have already or have read already. So I'm going to go through the shelves and look for like whales marked ones. They've all got a dragon on them if they're sort of Welsh authors or Welsh shoutings or whatever. Um, and see if I can find some treasures. This one looks quite good. Intermission. Maybe a bit intense. I don't know. Found a gold mine in the Joneses, which to be expected. Um, but quite a lot of the ones here I've already read or have in my house already, so it's a bit of a bust. I've heard of the Inverts, um, but not this other one by the same author, so that's interesting. Loved The Blue Tent by Richard Gwynn, um, but this other one right next to it, also by Richard Gwynn, I've not heard of and is intriguing. This one also looks good in a grim and violent Welsh way, um, and it might be the one I get, I don't know. Also, hit a gold mine in the Davises. We'll just go ahead and speed that up. This one also looks intriguing and is a contender for coming home with me. We'll see. Dignity by Alice Connor was amazing. It's a Welsh book that I read for Dewython last year, but it does not have a Welsh sticker. Which makes me wonder what other Welsh books don't have a Welsh sticker. I've gone with The Vegetarian Tigers of Paradise by Crystal Jeans, which seems weird in the best way. I also got these for my kid because she loves this kind of cute crap. Okay, I don't want to make it weird or anything, but this book has hugely improved for me, okay? And I'm going to tell you how by giving you a small spoiler. Very small, very small. But if you don't want any spoilers at all, cover your ears right now, okay? But I think the spoiler I'm going to give you... It's not going to ruin the book for you and it might potentially give you a better view of the book and help you to decide if you want to read it or not, okay? Do you remember our girl, Nevin, our main girl, and that thing about her that we didn't know or understand but which frightened her brother and made him drug her? It may or may not be supernatural, 
That's right. Oh my god. Okay, it is not in a sci-fi sort of way. Um, or even, I would say, in like a horror sort of way. Like, it, it could potentially, you know, go that route. But I don't think it's that. It's more like a, like a deep relationship with the sea sort of way. You know, she's very connected to the sea. That's all I'll say. But holy crap, I didn't see it coming and I love it. This is probably the worst thing my kids ever talked me into. Because um, we watched it on YouTube where there was like a girl. She fought in jars and then fell. Okay, I have finished it and I'm gonna go with four stars, I think. I'm gonna go with four stars because, okay, I knocked it down a star, generally, I think. Because a lot of the characters were quite sort of two-dimensional and a bit cliche. Like, there were cliches sort of all over the place and it was quite predictable in quite a lot of places. Um, and also a bit slow to get started. But that being said, I fully enjoyed this one. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the ending. Like, um, <clears throat> I just feel like it was very fun to read today. And also, Carol Lewis as an author, I really like her writing style, you know, like her general wordsmithing and how her writing sounds. I sort of, I really enjoyed that. So, um, that being said, despite its flaws, I love the crap out of it. And it's not a too shabby way to start off dowie -thon. if I do say so myself. Um, so I did a vlog today for dowie -thon because it's St David's Day, but I don't think I'm going to do a vlog today. I don't think. Um, I think generally for dowie -thon, I'm just going to do like a vlog a week, if you will. I think that's what I did last dowie -thon, so I'll go ahead with that as well this round. Um, but if you have gotten this far, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, thoughts, anything for me please let me know on this read any other reads what you're reading various and david's day crap please let me know um and i will see you next week bye 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 bye, bye.